ไปกันว้าวเดี๋ยวฟูมูนี่ตัวไหนวันบอกเกี่ยวเนี่ยอะไรดีเจ๊สบีร์ฟูดแอนดี้ลูกอะไรนี่ฟลาร์เอสว้าวทอร์ชเจ๊สเข้ามาในนี้โอ้โหฉันไม่ได้ไปที่นี่มาจิกแข่งฟิชชั่นจะเป็นเบอร์นัสเจ๊สวิกเกอร์ไม่ก็เลยไปดู A few little fish just around me here. This little small fish. That's a good sign. With a small fish, big fish come to feed. So it's good to see some sprats. It looks like on the top of the water here, just in close. It's gonna be a hot day. Already starting to feel it. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day! I got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Who can tell me what musical that's out of? Yeah, fish just right here. Surface. Got a good feeling. I got a feeling. I reckon I'm going to head over there, but there's a worm bed somewhere out there. I never actually GPS marked it, but I triangulated it. Took a point off Rabbit Island over there, and a point off there, and a point on land. Try and tee them all up, and uh, that's where the snapper are feeding, right under it. Little red worms. I've come out a bit deeper than I normally go. Just a gut feeling. There's nothing really here to say there's fish here. Over the side, and gonna stick some burley over and stick a line, and I can feel an offshore breeze going this way just out right now, so that's kind of good. This was an old knife that I found in the garden, it's pretty much stuffed, and I took it to uh, Epic Knife Maker Ross Johnson, and he uh, helped me make it good again. So it's a good fishing knife, and it gets lost over the side, no big deal. It's only a cheap knife. Cheap sharp knife though. That's what you want. Nice oh, sharp knife. The wind's starting to pick it up now and make me face ashore. Which is kind of good because I don't have the sun directly in my eyes. And I think we'll hoof this out. That side. It's not exactly a flash uh, but a kit this uh, rod, but that'll do. Stopped here, but I can see a bird working the water over there about 100 metres. So I'm going to pull my rod back up, pull my anchor up, and head over that way because that's where the fish will be. So before I drop my burley and waste it, we're heading over there. I'm going to put this hand line out over there. So we've got a rod on the back, both sides. Two rods and a hand line. Hold your up the right way, son. Set it. What's on there? Stingray. Oh yeah, that's good. Tighten it up a little bit. I reckon it's a snapper. That feels like a snapper to me. Definitely. It's biting like a snapper. Oh, he just put her in a nice little panty. Look at that. Oh, just oh, barely legal. Hey, mate. You're lucky, boy. So only just got here and catch this nice little panty. And he would be a legal fish, but nah, we'll let him go for another day. Woohoo! We're into it. Only just got here. Like I said, there's some birds over there, paddled over there, boom, straight away. Well, with a small fish, there'll be bigger fish. Let's stop yakking and get the rod back down. Well, I've been here for about an hour since I released my fish. 
And I haven't caught any more, which kind of makes you think, should have I let it go? Yeah, I should have. Burley starting to work now, so small fish coming in will bring bigger fish. Well, that's the theory anyway. The water is smooth. Am I getting a bite there? Am I? Oh, the hand line's got a bite. Yep. Fish on there. What have we got? What have we got? Little panty. Oh, he's got to be a bit small again too. Second one of the day. Jeez. Oh, he'd be legal, but just I think we can let him go. What do you reckon, guys? We didn't get bigger for another day still. Wow, fish are out here happening anyway. Let's put him back in the water, keep him in good condition. See you later, mate. Have a crack of life and get bigger for another day. You all right? You're free. You can go. He's into it. Woohoo! Well, uh, I haven't got anything to take home to eat yet, but that's all right. It's kind of nice catching them and releasing them too. I don't normally do that, but they're on the edge. They're legal fish, but they're just not going to feed that many people so for another day maybe in the next year that same fish will catch it again and it'll feed the whole family oh boy gotcha happy days happy days what have we got a snapper for sure i keep a list on the link oh yeah in the boat you beauty woohoo right in the neck well, how about that, eh? Well, <laughs> I know I get excited with catching fish, but mate, I've let two go, and finally I've got one that's a good size keeper, and it's actually jumped right inside the net. Happy days. And I'll tell you how I caught it and what I did, because they haven't been biting anything else. You know, getting out, mate. I'll show you in a minute what I did to the hook. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, I do get excited. There's no doubt about it. I still get a buzz catching fish. It's fucking awesome, man. It's a nice, nice brim. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty. Hooks nicely. Let's see if we can catch another one. Old player's going to share a secret with you. This is one of my fishing tips. I don't watch any fishing shows, so you might have uh, seen this before. I don't know, but this is what I do. I don't uh, watch anybody else's fishing but my own. So, here's the squid that's the real sort of hard bit. Stick that on your hook first like that. I've used this bit like quite a bit. Now get the stuff that the snapper cannot resist and that's the guts on the inside. It gives off so much smell. And this is it man. It'll only stay on your hook for a very short time. But they just love this man. They go for it every time I'm telling you. Getting a couple of strikes behind me there. Just want to bake this up. And then turn your piece, your firm piece, and turn it around and run it back through the top again like that. That'll ensure it stays on for a bit longer. Over the side and bang, guarantee it. If they're down there, if they're not biting, if they're not taking pilchard or they're not taking squid, try the actual squid gut itself. It's soft, but it's just something they cannot resist. Oh, you beauty! Oh, that feels like a nice snapper to me. Hello, darling, how are ya? Welcome to Clay's World. I don't like it in here. Tough bookies, mate. You beauty! Oh, you're a keeper too. Nice one. Oh, happy days. Doesn't get any better. Doesn't get any better. Nice fish. Perfect size. I'm so glad I let those small ones go earlier on. Alright, let's just make sure we don't get a spike in us, eh? Hello, mate. Oh, yeah. 
Won't hurt a bit, I promise you. See you in the next life. There it is. Right through the brain. It's still got me bait too. Woohoo! <laughs> Stay in the boat. That fish is one dead fish. That is going to be dinner. Sun is up, I'm heading back. I got some fish in my dad's kayak. A simple life. I've come to know where everything is sweet as bro, sweet as bro, sweet as bro. Everywhere we go, it's sweet as bro. Singing sweet as bro, sweet as bro. Everywhere we go, it's sweet as bro. the kayak off and I've picked up this guy. This guy's been having a bad run. They say bad things happen in trees. He's had three shitty things happen. He's had three good things but we're not going to tell you what the good things are. We're going to tell you shitty things. This is why I've picked him up. So first of all he cut the end of his finger off. Second bad thing was he lost his girlfriend. His mate wasn't really a mate was he? Stole her. The third thing happened was he lost his job. I actually was supposed to be doing something with Hana, but she's kind of got her own life going on right now. I thought we'll put that on hold, and I'll pick this guy up. I still haven't had anything to eat today. I've dropped the kayak off. I've picked up a whole lot of gear for an adventure, but we're going to cook up the one of the snapper. I've given the other one to Ah. We're going to cook one up on the beach now, and then we're going to get off on an adventure. It's my first food. It's bloody delicious. Watch out for the bones. Good tucker. How do you rate it? Mm. We're about to start a new adventure. So uh, we're going away for a couple of days. It'll be after this one, hopefully. Take it easy. Be good. And if you cannot be good, come on. Be careful. Be careful. See you later. This stays there for